Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about 99.9% .9 done with the interior, and I wanted to give you a little tour. So, we'll have to check the lighting, see how it works indoors, but this should be a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is out the walk as you walk up to the front here. It's kind of nice. That's a Swaggy Dale's room in there. We'll check it out from the inside. He likes to be the gatekeeper, see what's going on out here. Welcome to our new Niceville home. Let's start with our living room. We love how open and airy and bright and light this front room is. Kind of went with a blue theme. This is Laura's display case number one with a special shelf devoted to our grandson, Abram Hunter. This is from the exit of the living room, looking back into the dining room, and the kitchen is right over there. We love these hardwood floors. They are just beautiful. As we go down the hall here, we come to Dale's room. Nice big bed, tropically decorated, plenty of windows where he can watch the weather. He has a little station over here where he likes to sit and watch the weather, work on his computer, and watch for packages to come and go. Up next, is my man cave. This, I really love this room, built just for me. Got a nice little sectional over here, decorated with some throw pillows that I created myself. We have a wall here, dedicated to my mother, 1964 racing a Cobra. This is me hanging from a tree in Louisiana, about the same time. This is my mother with my new C8 Corvette. This is my mother 1964-ish with her racing Corvette and a bunch of her trophies. This is my alcove. Contains a lot of my cycling memorabilia. Many of you know that I was a cycling coach for about 35 years. A lot of thank you images from the many cyclists that I worked with throughout the years. This is an image painted by my brother-in-law Dave for me. And a couple images of me. It's probably 1975. Me with Nelson Vell's Olympic silver medalist training. This is probably also 1974, 1975. Oh, and here's my second Corvette, 1972 LT1. This is my Olympic certificate. A couple of Olympic celebration cabbage patches. Some Olympic memorabilia. This is my first place trophy from a Toge event on Willow Springs in California. And I just won this trophy last weekend at the Cruisers and Cops car show. First place, yep. Yeah. There's my 85 inch. Just love that little baby. Over here is my certificate from the Andretti School of Racing where I got to drive an Indy car. That was an absolute blast. My Ron Fellows Corvette Performance Driving School certificate, also another blast. I've had a lot of blasts in my life. And this uh, little corner shelf system holds some memorabilia. This is my mother's racing helmet from the late 50s. This is my current racing helmet. Oh, a little area dedicated to my loving daughter. Here's some trophies that my mother won back in the 50s. The big one in the back, actually my father won from a car show in 1954. The Xbox, label set I haven't put together yet. My 1984 Palperelta bug eye board. Oh, and my guitars. Yeah, that's the coolest doorstop you ever saw, isn't it? Yep. All right, down the hall here, we've got Dale slash guest bathroom done up and kind of a fishy theme. On to the next bathroom. This is Laura in our bathroom, done up in a, a seaside theme. This is a nice Wyland sculpture that we got from the Wyland Museum, Wyland Gallery rather, in Hawaii when we were there some time ago. Now the master bedroom. Look at this beauty. Done in the same seaside theme. 
our wedding photo. A couple of crazies out on Crab Island. A little more of my daughter here. I probably can't see that. This is my family back home at my pool we once had. And a couple other pictures, more of my daughter. You know, just trying to bring the family with us. This is Laura's mother's antique desk that we kept. She has it adorned with some photos. Some family photos, again, bringing the family with us. This is our little retreat area back here where we can sit and look out outside if we like. When we were in Hawaii, Laura and I, we also went swimming with dolphins. That was quite a big thing back then. It was a very rare that you could find a place to do that. Nowadays, you can find them anywhere. Laura's jewelry case. And then this bedroom leads right out to the Florida room or sunroom. Depends on where you're from. We've got this so that we can sit out here and look out at the garden and have some morning tea. It's a really nice retreat. Really beautiful place to sit and relax and get ready for the day. And over here in the corner, Laura has a little coffee stand where she can prepare her coffee for the day right outside the bedroom. You know, a lot of coffee cups, a couple kiwis surfing up on top there. The drawers are stocked full. Can't run out of coffee or well, we'll have a problem, if you know what I mean. Okay, and this leads back, oh wait, wait here, here's some artwork by Laura's grandmother. This was back Probably late 50s that she did these. These are beautiful. Artisticness runs in the family. And then this leads right back into the living room from a different angle. And then the a nice open floor plan. We've got the dining room right here. Okay. Nice open dining room. The table expands. Continuing with the seaside theme. This is the next. display case not lit up too well this is a shelf dedicated to my daughter and my stepson Kevin's military service yeah they were both in the military we're very 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 grateful for that this is the pass-through where Laura prepares the meals and sets them up here she likes to call out meal up for Dale And if we turn around, we'll see all the dining room also has a nice view out into the backyard. This is our centerpiece. And then the kitchen. We've got a little kitchenette over here in the breakfast nook. Marble countertops. This is the pass-through from Laura's side. This is what she sees. Usually there's a couple of hungry guys sitting there at the table waiting for food. Nice, kind of an abalone shell style backsplash that we had installed. One of the first things that we did. And then that's it. Well, thank you for joining me on this tour. We do love our home. I hope it wasn't too long for you. I hope you weren't bored. Next, we got to do some work on the exterior and the landscaping and also redoing the garage. That's coming up soon. If you want to follow the garage makeover, just click on this playlist right up over here. Okay, I'll try and put that up there for you. In the meantime, I'm Tim. See ya!